Были военные действия, было глубочайшее политическое раздражение лидеров. Это мы видели, оно и остается. Была мобилизация и военная, и психологическая, и любая другая общества, и армянского, и азербайджанского. До сих пор никто не рискует окончательно заявить себя победителем. Поэтому до сих пор непонятно, на каком месте можно поставить точку. use its influence by balancing between them. And that's fine once there's a kind of military balance between uh, uh, the parties. But so long when one side, or the Azerbaijani side, wants to upset that military balance, then I think Russia suddenly finds it's got much less influence than it thought. Turkey's involvement is crucial. Um, Turkish political support, the Turkish drones, I think, is important. Uh, and also these reports, which seem to be quite well confirmed, of, of Turkey sending mercenaries from Syria to the conflict zone. So clearly, Turkey's support is very important here. What's not clear to me is the Turkish goal. Well, of course, ultimately no war is winnable. All, all, there's no military solution to, to any war. Uh, ultimately, there needs to be peace. And, and certainly, even if the Azerbaijani side were totally to kind of, in quotes, win this war, there would still be no peace and the Armenian side would not surrender.